In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Hello World application by adding more screens and using the buttons to navigate between the screens. First thing I want to show you is how to add a new screen. It's really easy. From the design view, make sure you're in the design view, you go down to screen in your design toolbox and you drag and drop a new screen in. You now have a new screen. Now it's conventional to pick good names for screen so I'm going to call this my name screen because this is the screen where I'm going to put my name information. So I have my name screen and I have my starting screen. Now what I need is some handy dandy code so that when I push start it goes to the name screen. So I'm going to write some code for that. To do that, you go into the coding window, and the first thing right here happens to be the on event callback function, which allows you to control the way the button behaves. I'm going to drag, drop that block in. I'm going to say when I hit the start button, which is what I've renamed my button here, I've named it button start, so that when I click that start button, now something is going to happen some kind of event is going to happen when i click on that and the event i want to happen is i want to go to the next screen so i want to go to the screen i named screen um screen name so then i'm going to set screen to screen name now i'm going to just test it this is a great practice when writing programs write a little code test it. Write a little code, test it. So I click on run to test it. I click on start and when I push start, oh my goodness, I've made some kind of mistake. Now let's try it. I'm going to restart it. Run. There's the behavior I wanted. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of screen name and the best uh, the look of screen name and I'm going to put down two buttons I'm going to put down a back and a forward button now I, I would of course want to mess with the details of this later but just for now let's make a button I'm going to name it button next and on the text on that I'm going to go next and on this button I'm going to call this button button back and on that but oh sorry I'm gonna reverse that first I'm just gonna as you can see here I got them backwards it just seems like the net back button should be here and the next button should be here so I'm just gonna reverse those no harm done there and what I want to happen is when I hit the back button I want to go back to that first screen so again I'm gonna be in the coding window I'm gonna make another callback function another on event and I'm going to say, when I hit the, sorry about that, oh, here we go. So you notice the program was running, that's why I couldn't get it to go, so I had to stop it. So when it is back, when I click on back, then I'm going to go to screen, set screen, set screen. Come on, where are you set screen? They're alphabetically listed to go to back to screen one. So now let's run this thing. I hit start, it goes to the name screen. When I hit back, it goes, wow, I have now completed a, it's a, now a working program that I can navigate around in. Now in the design view, I can go to that new screen with screen name and I can add some things to it. And what I'm going to add is I'm going to add the origin of my name, which is Dan. And my name comes from my parents. My dad liked this guy, Danny Walton, who happened to be born on the same birth date as my dad. And my mom is a big um, religious person, and she liked Daniel in the lion's den. So they liked that name because of the name of a baseball player and the name of a famous biblical hero. So I'm going to insert those images and explain the origins of my name based on those images. And I'll have some text here explaining this part. I'll have some text here explaining this image. And this image I'm going to choose to upload a file. And I'm going to upload. It's going to be my downloads. Maybe not. 
It's going to be on my desktop in just a second. I'll have to drag it to my desktop. I just did that off screen. Sorry, you couldn't see that, but that's what I did. I'm going to upload some files, and there they are. And I'm going to upload my other one. There it is. And now I'm going to put those images in to my program. I'm going to shrink him down so he fits. And then into this one, I'm going to choose another image. And again, shrink it down. This one might look better kind of like this. With text like this and text like that. And there we go. I now have completed those, those two things. Something important to note that when I make a new screen, I now have screen three and that third screen might be a place where I put like my interests. So screen interests, oops, let me write that again, interests. When I do my interests, if I were to drag another button, these buttons here, I can't call it next and back anymore only because I already have a button named next and back and I have to, um, oops, I kind of froze up here. I always forget to do that. Kind of stop and start it there. And a button, there we go. I got to make sure I name them something different. So what I might do is when I'm on that button, instead of calling it, um, I might back again I can't pick that name because I already have something called back see it won't even let me I can call it back one or back two or back three and then this one I'm gonna call next but it won't let me call it next but I can call it next one and now I have a, a next one and a back one and back and again, I can write the code to go with it so that if I'm on back one, back one, then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to screen, set screen, go to screen interests. And now um, this should all work when I run it. I start here, I go there, there's my picture, I can go there. Oops, I forgot to set my next key. Oops, good thing I'm writing a little code, testing a little code. And then I'm gonna go 